Hey guys, Shibli182 here, and today we're going to be doing something different. Um, as we all know, our good friend on YouTube, um, Ate the Chosen One, sent a bunch of us his album. Uh, the artist, the radio won't play, and the industry won't let you hear. Uh, I promised him I would give him my truthful, honest opinion after I got done listening to it. I finished listening to the album, and before I get into talking about what I liked and what I didn't like or whatever, I just want to mention I am not a fan of rap whatsoever. Uh, I am strictly uh, Blink-182, Junkie, um, that type of news. I, even, I can't stand Green Day. I'm very picky when it comes to my music, um, especially rap. I cannot stand rap. Eminem makes me sick. Busta Rhymes makes me sick with this Halloween shit. Um, just, I hate rap. Um, Lil Wayne, all those guys, 50 Cent, I, they, they drive me nuts and I can't stand them. With that said... It was nice to sit down and to a rap album where there was some meaning behind the songs. Where, yeah, the songs might be the most, they might not be the most important topic, while some of them are very important topics, don't get me wrong. Other ones might not be as important, but they're still, they still got meaning behind them, and they still got, like, heart, and I, I can feel the love in these songs. So, anyway, without further ado, I will tell you my favorite songs on the album, Eight, um, by far, my favorite song has to be Metrosexual. I loved uh, the beat to the song. I loved your flows. I loved... Uh, it, it made me laugh, let's just say that. And the girl that's uh, in there as well, uh, she suits the song perfectly, and uh, I think we made a perfect choice, if that was you. Um, my next favorite song has to be Dickhead, because we all know everyone works with the Dickhead sometime in their life, and that song rings true so much. And that's what I mean by, like, these these songs, the, when you listen to these songs, you, true, you truly feel like... Uh, He's speaking from his heart. He's, he's speaking the truth. And these songs have meaning, and uh, I like that. I don't like songs about smacking my bitch up. Um, I like songs about real-life situations. And that's what, I, th in my opinion, 8 has given us here, is a rap album with uh, some real meaning behind the songs. Um, and my, another favorite song of mine here was The Industry Won't Let You Hear. I really enjoyed that. Um, I liked how 8 ended the, sing ended the song with, Suck my dick in a nice way. Um, that was just absolutely awesome. I laughed my ass off once again. Um, but yeah, anyway, you got some fucking talent, 8. Um, keep it up. I wouldn't stop if I were you. Just keep knocking those doors down. Keep going for it because one day, man, you're going to be on top of the game. You're going to knock this shit scene out of here, I hope anyway, because uh, let's face it, the rap scene's been shit for a long time now. Uh, not since maybe... Run DMC, man. I don't know. I can't think of the last time I thought rap was any good. So, thank you for the autographed copy. It's going to go up, uh, put away somewhere. Um, thank you for keeping this one in the plastic. I will never take it out. Uh, just give you guys a quick look. For any of you who didn't get the album, the CD is actually in the CD player right now. So, I can't really show you that because I'm not opening my other one and I don't feel like going to the CD player. So, yeah. Eight the Chosen Ones, the artist, the radio won't play, and the industry won't let you hear. Uh, if you haven't got a copy of the CD, I suggest you go over to Eight the Chosen Ones channel, the uh, link down here, and uh, ask them for a copy. If you have to pay for it, pay for it, because uh, if you're a fan of rap, you're going to love this. I'm not a fan of rap, and I enjoyed myself listening to this album. Very well put together. Um, the guy can rap. There's no denying that. The guy can write songs. Um... And yeah, they're, they got meaning behind them. So listen to the album if you have it, if you haven't listened to it yet. And uh, Ate the Chosen One, congratulations, man, because uh, I can tell you got some talent and I can't wait to see you up on that stage one day. So everybody have an awesome day and I will talk to you later. Oh yeah, Ate, you got to change this rap industry. This fucking rap shit is, I'm so sick of it. So yeah, you, you become famous and you teach all these bitches what to rap about. So have a good day and I will talk to you later.